data access methods. Access means that either you are saving or retrieving data from a storage. This is kind of law in computer science that uh, hardware is always faster than the software. Companies build hardware first and then the software and the methods to use those hardware are made. So same happened as the first piece of information saving system was developed it was punch cards people used to punch no punch punch no punch on it and they were they were this way and then these punch cards were replaced by paper tapes these paper tapes were replaced by uh, magnetic tapes those had uh, mostly fe so4 material on them so that it could store the magnetic charge and that that was the advent of uh, magnetism uh, method of storage for computers. And then these uh, pip, uh, plastic based magnetic tapes were replaced by the floppy disk drives. Every time there was a new storage uh, invented, the way to save the data and the drives for those storage were also changed. Punch card used a tap writer like machine and people used to uh, punch on those cards at their home. Personal computers were not available so people used to carry those punch cards with them to the data access center and computing centers. By the time paper tapes appeared, people started having computers at their homes and mainly businesses picked up. By the time plastic magnetic tapes were there, people used uh, mostly computers at home and then floppy drives. These are new phenomena. They are just got vanished by uh, the USBs. USBs, they are now more used instead of floppies. So with the passage of time, uh, use of punch card access and tape, paper tape access is not the part of your syllabus but the plastic magnetic tapes were basically the main uh, focus and afterwards so plastic magnet magnetic tapes uh, as you can see that these tapes were serial in method means that you cannot save the data which can be accessed directly rather People used to save a record and then there was a record gap and then another record, then there was a record gap, then there is another record and then record gap. So yeah, if we basically have let's say three records and you want to reach record number three and you are here, you would have to pass this reel until you reach at record number three. Similarly, if you are at record number three and you want to access record number one, you have to rewind the reel to record number one. This sort of forwarding and rewinding to access a record is called serial method. So it was kind of a limitation which uh, people avoided later with uh, sequential method but yet we cannot define a method which supersedes the nature of the uh, medium that is basically under use. So let's see that how we can save data on the plastic tape and when we, when we retrieve it how, what would be the method to retrieve it. So let's just have one illustration let's suppose We have got one magnetic tape that has our records 
saved. We want to save another record and let's suppose that this magnetic tape has left some space in it then we all we can do is we can add that record here at the end of the file. This was the only way if you can add a record to a serial medium. So basically the method of saving record is always towards the end of the file and when you always add towards the end of the file this is called append whenever there is a record that you want to save to a serial access method and you are adding it towards the end this is called append means saving the record at the end of the file this is called append so what if you like to add the record in between B and D how would you do that that is practically impossible using the same tape so what we would do we rather use another tape first thing we will ask our user to enter the record let's say new record that needs to be saved is C So what would happen, we would put this first tape, let's call it a b c dot txt file. This is just supposition, this is not actual. And this file, let's call it temporary file, t e m p dot txt. Now computer would read one record from a b c dot txt and match it with c whatever is smaller will be saved to the new and then computer would read the next record from the abc.txt file and match it with c and whatever is smaller will be saved to the new temporary.txt file then it will compare d with c and it will find that c is basically smaller so c will be saved and then the rest of the records will just be put this way now all the records are saved in this new file record a b c d e now you need to understand that these two files are two different file and the name of the original file is abc.txt user want to enter the record in fact insert the record in between B and D so we employ two tips now what would happen that this particular first abc.txt will be deleted and temp.txt will be renamed as abc.txt and this particular file will be discarded this is the way to insert the record on a serial method because originally because of the limitation of the medium this is not possible you cannot just cut because you cannot see on magnetic material what is saved so that is the only way doing it otherwise if you like to append you can always append so this is basically serial access method in serial access let's talk about the methods first in serial access method you always add the data as it as it appears and always at the end so basically serial method is equal to chronological method chronological means data is sa saved as it is arrived with the passage of time what comes first would be saved first what comes later would be saved later so that is serial access method but if we like to keep our data in order then we would have to have this trouble to maintain order we would have to insert and in that case the data that we save would not be in chronological order rather it would be in some pre-decided sort order and that would be called 
sequential file. All right. Later, these mediums got evolved and floppy drives were invented. So with that, you would have to see my next lecture.